So another thing I have to do is, well, this is obviously like an aftermarket uh, ground for this car. It's still fine, but this terminal is trash. It's not tightening anymore and it's just pretty bad. So I have to replace it with a brand new one. So I'll just cut this right here and install this cable onto a new terminal. But another thing I did is I fixed the opening and closing of this door. Actually, the seat belts were just soaking uh, recently, so that's why they're just kind of drying right now. Uh, but I also fixed this door because it was closing kind of bad, so it was easy. I just had to loosen this striker and just adjust it a little bit. It took a couple tries, but now it closes nicely. That's it. So here's a new terminal. It's actually pretty easy to install. Uh, you just remove these two bolts and then you put the cable in there and tighten these two bolts and yeah it's gonna be a nice brand new cable all right after a little bit of you know splicing and cleaning that's what we have and i'm gonna go ahead and install this bad boy right here so i'm gonna have brand new terminal after you're done, simply make sure this is also clean. We we'll already cleaned this terminal up on the battery. And yeah, go ahead and install it. And then tighten this bad boy and you're done. How easy that was. Well, I guess it's a smaller size, huh? Wah, wah, wah. it she's done look at that all right guys i'm just doing some final touch-ups on this amazing machine i just have to wash it and yeah it's gonna be all good to go so much stuff that's been done but after the car wash i'm gonna go over everything that was done to this amazing machine yeah and uh, hopefully we'll find a new home for her really soon Look how pretty she is after the car wash. Totally different car, it's insane. What a beauty, amazing machine. All right, here's what I'm doing to this thing. So as you can see, this area is getting worn. So I'm using silicone sealant, the clear one. And uh, yeah, it's not the best way to do it, but what I want to make sure is that this does not keep spreading so i'm just gonna put silicone sealant on top like this and just kind of spread it around and once it dries up it's gonna basically have a layer and it's gonna help it with not you know going crazy like this thing right here for example this is the only seed that has a problem like this but i just want to protect this bottom and make sure that it doesn't uh you know get worse especially because it's a driver's side. All right, so now I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours and then we'll have a protection of, you know, layer of protection here. And it's not gonna get worse. So that's a good thing. And, you know, you could also put a tape here, but I don't, I'm not a fan of a tape. So I just decided to go this route. And yeah, it will keep the seat, the bottom of it protected for a long time.
Look at how pretty she is. Oh. Amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. And today is going to be one of the last videos of this amazing machine, W124-300E. And today I have to show you everything that was done to this car and some things that are still needed for this car. So hope you enjoyed. All right, guys, there she is. Here's what's been done to this car. There's still some things that need to be done to this baby, but the majority and most of the work has been done to this car. All right, let's go over the exterior. So installed brand new turn signal uh, lenses on both sides, brand new headlight bezels with 3M uh, clear tape. Uh, then uh, these headlight wipers were uh, repainted. The arms themselves, new wipers installed, brand new bulbs everywhere, literally. Uh, low high beam bulbs new fog lamps the new fog lamp bulbs uh, were also installed brand new grill all right uh, this new uh this one's uh the, the logo was uh actually uh, repainted and restored looking pretty good uh, also brand new tires all the way around okay uh brand new front brakes uh brake rotors and pads installed uh wheel bearings were actually repacked and adjusted in the front both sides they were a little loose so i had to just retighten them uh what else was done a uh, new uh mono wiper uh basically just a wiper blade itself uh lubricated the passenger no driver side mirror uh, so that moves really nice and easy this one is an electric one i was not doing anything to that one actually um a lot of work has been done guys uh, as far as the front suspension brand new ball joints uh, installed and then uh, also uh, it has brand new Bilstein shocks all the way around and also added brand new strut mounts which I'll show you in a little bit and then as far as the body uh, it had some you know minor uh, you know surface uh, spots here and there uh, just from like rubbing here and stuff like that. So it's not too bad actually like took care of that uh, and touched it up with paint So that is all good You know the car is not perfect. It has a, a couple of uh, dings and dents here and there uh, yeah, Like this right here. Uh, this also was you know, uh, kind of there was some surface rust, rust so I treated that uh, and then lubricated the antenna as well so that is all operational and nice uh, and then um but to open it and show it to you guys uh in the back all the bulbs were replaced in the back literally all there's like five bulbs per taillight assembly so those were all replaced muffler uh exhaust hangers were replaced as well all right guys so here's the list of what was done to the car you can literally like pause it and <laughs> save it i'm about to show you the next page let's see Here's the next page. A lot of stuff, guys, has been done to this amazing machine. Literally, so much work. Okay, trunk has also been cleaned up, really nice and clean. Uh, now, as far as the spare tire, all right, we have brand or not brand new, but we have a uh, full size factory spare and the jack. Uh, also, everything is lubricated with fluid film here. Also, had these liners out. I was fluid filming everything behind the liners to preserve that. All right. Also, we have this light right here that works. Okay, it's just the switch is a little sticky. And that it's really really amazing, guys. Okay. This part right here looks really nice and clean. Oh, I forgot to mention for the suspension, replaced a steering idler arm, replaced four tie rods, two inners, two outers. Those were done. Uh, they were actually pretty bad. I actually did them back in, when I was in Nevada. Let's move on to the interior. All right, interior has been all taken out, cleaned up, scrubbed. Everything literally has been done. It was uh, so much work actually, because uh, it was all dirty and everything. Uh, the seat pocket nets were restored, okay. Uh, I had all of these trims out and underneath, I just put like grease everywhere uh, for preservation. Uh, the seat belts were all soaking in hot soapy water. Uh, all the door panels were out. Uh, I was cleaning them and actually lubricating, lubricating everything from behind, which is the door stops. 
um, you know, even when the regulators and all that, everything inside the door, all these seals were actually uh, looped up with silicone paste as well. Okay, now let's move on to this. Uh, also uh, replaced automatic transmission shifter bushings. Uh, those were bad uh, and gone. All right, all the seats, everything works. All right, everything is amazing. Beautiful. And then just the glove box right there. The dash has a couple of cracks right there. You know, uh, it's not a huge deal. Uh, also, this mirror has a little bit of uh, cracking right there. Not a huge deal. Uh, everything else is like pretty, pretty clean, uh, for the exception of that driver's side seat bolster. Uh, right there and uh, I just have these cardboards here or uh, this cardboard here just so you know I don't stain these uh, carpets after so much detailing that was done to it all these bottom seals uh, I had them out uh, and then I looped up everything behind right here that's some fluid film right there as you can see okay so, uh, what else was done with the interior all of these vents were removed which is left middle and uh, right and I replaced uh, little bulbs inside of them. Uh, HVAC unit was also removed and replaced. There's there's two bulbs in there. One of them was burnt out, so those were replaced. Uh, shifter uh, assembly bulb was also replaced. This side, uh, okay. So cluster was removed, cleaned up, uh, restored, and also uh, you know painted all the needles and all that, make it look really good and original. Uh, and uh, also changed uh, see as you can see there's some damage here because somebody didn't know how to remove stuff so you know they damaged a bunch of things but yeah it's just mainly this one which is kind of sad but it's gonna be fine i removed the gas pedal and lubricated the gas pedal uh linkage right there uh what else was done a uh, brand new ignition lock assembly that tumbler and got new keys also made additional keys for lock and unlock so that was done as well Man, so much work has been done to this baby. It's amazing. I'm gonna look under the hood. All right, now let's go over from of what was done under the hood. Okay, uh, replaced this battery post right here. Old one was really bad. Like I said, I mentioned replaced these strut mounts on both sides. All right, uh, then as far as the engine side, okay, uh, new clone tank cap. A valve cover gasket is brand new and the valve cover itself is restored uh, then uh, also this little coolant line was also restored and not restored but replaced it's a brand new one a brand new water pump brand new thermostat brand new radiator hoses upper lower brand new belt brand new tensioner uh, rod which is that guy um, and uh what else uh, filter some was all like cleaned up and all that uh brand new distributor cap and rotor as well brand new spark plugs six of them ngk uh, then brand new blower fuse was also installed and then fresh brake fluid okay brake fluid uh, change was done and what else was also the power steering uh, fluid flush was done and uh, replaced the filter and uh, what else uh, brand new two brand new idler pulleys as well and uh, let's see what else did i do there are a few things that i did oh i actually i had this uh, wiper cowl out because i was uh cleaning out a lot of you know drains and did a bunch of work to that uh i had the blower motor taken out uh several months ago because i, I wanted to lubricate it so i lubricated that just cleaned out a lot of debris and junk out of there okay yeah so this as you can see this uh freshly painted uh engine mount cover uh because that's when i had when i was replacing the idler arm right there i had to do that while it was out um, this hose was also replaced right here this little coolant hose uh there's some trash right there i have to pick out but yeah guys so much so much work has been done to this amazing machine and you know, I can't wait for the new owner to enjoy it and take care of this amazing baby. 
Also, fuel pump check valves were replaced as well. I installed Bosch ones and also installed a brand new flex disc in the back because the old one was bad. Also, transmission mount was replaced. Installed a brand new transmission mount on this baby. Now, a couple of things that the car needs at the moment, which is AC compressor will have to be replaced because it's original and it's actually pretty bad. So AC compressor needs to be changed. Uh, the sunroof is not working at the moment. Uh, the motor is working, but the sunroof is not moving. I think the plastic linkage is just broken inside. That's how I bought the car. And uh, I just didn't have time to work on it right now because it's, you know, I, I do most of the car work outside and it's been just raining like crazy. Uh, another thing that the car needs, I mean, like I said, it has a couple of dings and dents here and there, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, Obviously, we'll need like a new hood pad, but you know, the, the new owner can actually take care of that. I'm not worried about it. All right, guys, so here's the amazing machine. It drives really, really good, and it's just so amazing. Such an amazing machine. Uh, I'm honestly like proud of this car because like you know that they, they don't make them like they used to you know what I mean but yeah it's super comfortable super amazing to you know drive this car I am just super happy this thing is back on the road back to life and all that That is it guys she is sold one of my friends will be owning this amazing machine he'll be taking care of it and making it even more immaculate he's super happy with the purchase of this amazing machine so we might be seeing this car again at some point on my channel but as of right now i am no longer the owner of this machine so super happy it's going to good hands